How's it going guys? Welcome back and welcome to Team of the Year. One of the best times in EAFC or in FIFA beforehand. Now, there's only two cards that I really, really care about and we've got one of them here. This is Lena Oberdorf. Now, if you've seen my reviews before, you know I love Oberdorf and this card this year. Now, they gave her four-star skill moves, four-star weak foot, medium high work rate. She can play center back still. And she has these stats for Team of the Year. Now, if you were looking at the face card, you could kind of compare her to Conte's Team of the Years in past times and say, well, is this really a Team of the Year card? Well, before you even criticize that, this card is insane in game. And not only that, unlike Conte in those times, she has play style. So intercept plus, bruiser plus, anticipate, slide tackle, press proven, one of my favorite passing traits, long ball pass. And otherwise, we have her on an engine. And otherwise, this is the rest of the team. So, of course, we're pairing her with Kessler because that card is absolutely amazing in game. And finally, you pretty much can get a solid midfield for probably under a mil at some point this week. Now, we got Vertz's new player of the month card. He has first touch plus, otherwise it's not the greatest card. We're playing Musiala. We got Kane, Malin, Lom, Kim and Jay, Lucio, Lizarazu, and Trap to make a more kind of Bundesliga, Bayern type hybrid with the German females in the middle. But without further ado, let's hop into game one. Okay, heading into the first game, by the way, this team of the year design for this game is absolutely phenomenal. From the icons to the actual main players. Looking at this team, we may be seeing a little bit of Xavi ball. A lot of Barca players, uh, mainly La Liga side with uh, Malin up top. Hurts. Oh, play that. Kane. Kane is completely open. He should not be giving Kane that space because Kane's going to hammer it in in the second minute of game time. Okay, we got Overdorf. No, this is Kessler. Hold up. Let's get it to Overdorf. Okay, we can't get it to Overdorf. Thank you, <laughs> Overdorf. Let's see if we should got... What? What is that dribbling? Oh, and the burst of speed. <laughs> oh my god yeah this is definitely a team of the year card mind my pass because i was just absolutely telegraphing it to him but malin just keep it running malin keeps the goalie standing there looking like he didn't even see it pass him lizarazu let's see if we can get oberdorf a goal because it seems like we're pretty comfortable in this game already especially this early on we might be able to push her up the field oh just as i say that we get absolutely eaten alive okay <laughs> to oberdorf oberdorf play that beautiful ball to malin let's see if we can do a little bit of skill <laughs> a little bit more to get us inside oh kane nice he overread it kane on the red time chip Scoring his second of the match. Malin. You, <laughs> Malin. That is so, so, so dirty. I wish I had, or I had the ability to do the Evo. Because that Evo is probably absolutely amazing in game. And that is a quick break. Okay, well, that's sick. Oh, alrighty. We're doing that. Okay, let me kind of tuck her in. Yes, Oberdorf. Get that burst of speed. Play it in. Go Malin. To Kane. Beautiful little passing play. Get that chip off. Kane doesn't even have the chip shot trait. Gets it in the back of the net. Keeps or actually adds to our lead. <laughs> oh, beautiful. Thank you, Oberdorf, for that beautiful pass. Harry Kane. He's not missing from there. This should be a rage quit, even though it's pretty late in the game. Yep. There he goes. Okay, not a bad first game for Oberdorf. We are going to go into this real quick and see. So Harry Kane, four goals. Malin, two goals, one assist. 9.4 and 9.6 to each other. She Oberdorf got a 6.9. Not much to do in the defense, but I did a, a lot of weird dribbles with her this game. So... Dribble success rate, 56%. I wanted to see how she actually turns, and she turns pretty good. Otherwise, the rest of the players are pretty average. Let's head into game two. 
Okay, game two, heading in with real Brazil, with a real Madrid badge. We got check in that Gomez, Thiago Silva again, the young Holland, that Holland objective card or beats card or whatever. Uh, hopefully he's subbing that out because he's not a great card for this time in the game. Oberdorf, bring it up. Good cut in, Oberdorf. Let's see if we can get some movement. Play that through. Beautiful ball to Malin. We got Oberdorf and Malin, and Malin hits that a little bit wonky for whatever reason. I'm not going to question it. Let's see if we can get this corner. No. On it there. Or any skill move at all. But she got that turning radius that makes people wonder if she's actually a CDM. Absolutely banging that. Oh my god. Oberdorf, first goal of the game. I love her dribbling. I couldn't imagine other Team of the Year cards with higher dribbling, but her dribbling is so amazing on this engine. Hmm. Ooh, interesting. A lot of flair there. Lizarazu. Lizarazu, beautiful dribbling, letting Kane be free. Kane's not missing those. He gets into the box and he just hammers it home. Lucy, play that through. Malin, beautiful. Interesting strategy from him. He sends the goalie absolutely wide, maybe thinking I was about to finesse shot it. Benz, I mean, that doesn't work out in his favor. We end up winning the game with another rage quit now if you look at the stats real quick you may notice someone just got man of the match and that is lena lee yeah lena right yeah lena oberdorf with an 8.8 .8 because of that one goal from cdm and what a beautiful goal it was but besides that we got malin on a goal kane on a goal musiala lizarazu and kim min jay all on assists now let's head back into the team and let's do a little bit of final recap now you can see i'm probably struggling for coins in general we still have the team named after gurusi uh, but we're gonna go straight to the main girl herself lena o oberdorf on the engine i feel like she is an absolutely amazing card she is definitely noticeable on the defense she's definitely noticeable on the attack and she wasn't even meant to be a, an attacker never noticed her stamina even though it's 88 without relentless at all and overall yeah that shot power 94 shot power very very noticeable i 61 finishing must be a lie because that card and that shot that she took was absolutely amazing I'd still recommend the engine because it boosts her acceleration enough. Maybe you can put like a hunter on her or not a hunter, a shadow on her. Get that defensive awareness near maximum interceptions. Everything else would be perfect. And then her acceleration, perfect sprint speed at like 85. Pretty good card. But remember, she is an explosive Conte-esque player. So Conte was not really there for uh acceleration types was he i think his last card was right before it so you got to remember that she will be like very quick to intercept like very quick on the startup but she will slow down pretty substantially in my opinion to the point where like dembele if you had like a kind of like i guess we could say like an eight yard run up compared to oberdorf on the turn she will probably get beat every single time, but otherwise, like, in the midfield battle, she's amazing. She is an absolute force to be reckoned with, and that's probably because of Bruiser Plus and Press Proven. She's just an absolute tank in the midfield, and without a doubt, she is worth 900k, in my opinion, because there's not many cards that can do what she does in-game. Uh, who else was new? Verts. So a little bit of an oddball card. It's like right in between his last player of the month and his uh, Centurions card. I think he got a Centurions card, which is an 89 for 100k. But this card is coming in at eight, uh, 50k. And if you need a budget option for whatever reason, yeah, he works exactly the same as Goetze. 
Again, I would recommend Goetze before this card because Goetze is an absolutely phenomenal player. But if you think that f first touch plus will actually help him substantially. Oh, and Royce. Royce is also a good example. We got a lot of German cams that have this very high passing, high dribbling, and then average pace and shooting now in this game. But Goetze comes with that physical and 99 stamina and a good amount of play styles with finesse shot normal which is very powerful in this game still as you can see from other videos that i have done musiala i still can't use him i don't think he has great stats with us he has two assists that's okay we got kane malin very strong attacking too still in this game and kane is expected to get another card so hopefully it supersedes this card and makes it a much better card. He will finally have 99 finishing, hopefully 99 attack positioning as well with 99 reactions. If they give him a plus two, that will be a beautiful card and I will 100% be trying him out. Kessler, still one of my favorite midfielders in this game. She's still, in my opinion, better than Patelas. Not because she has uh whatever better stats or anything but Dallas is an amazing card in this game but Kessler just does so much better on defense because of her physicality I think I have put Dallas loan in my club I've been slowly using it and you can see 78 strength and then we go to Kessler 79 strength I have no idea what I'm talking about but for some reason she just feels so much better on the defense and when you're playing with a box to box that or if you're playing with a box to box that does need to actually contribute on the defensive line, I'd recommend Kessler over uh, Patelas any day. And especially because she gets that link to Oberdorf now, there should be no reason you should be using anyone else. And her uh, base hero is still very usable. We actually used her recently. Uh, was that the last video? Yeah, it was the last video. You can check it out. Otherwise, we got Lam, Kim and Jay, Lucio, Lizarazu. Lizarazu was surprising today. The rest of them, all great. Uh, Kim and Jay might be showing some signs of age, in my opinion, because he's getting pushed off the ball, which is probably the only thing he shouldn't be doing. Uh, 92 strength may not be enough anymore for center backs that are six foot three. I don't know. I don't really question it. Otherwise, Lucio, Lom, all very good cards. Even Trap played good today. And Lizarazu, with his absolutely amazingly fast dribbling. Wow, that's a lot of adjectives. I think it's adjectives. But this card is amazing. But I will hopefully, hopefully soon, well, hopefully soon, I will be opening all my packs during Friday or on Friday because I want to try and get some nominees to actually test out. But uh, if we look in this card or at Bundesliga left backs, we recently got this Davies card. And this, in my opinion, has to be an end game uh, left back, <laughs> at least until team of the season. I, I mean, looking at this card, it looks phenomenal. And you already know, like you see the 80 defense, 83 physical. Just throw that out the window. Wing backs don't get affected by that. And uh, it's so exciting because the, although the Bundesliga gets a lot of wing backs, we're finally getting two endgame ones this early on. So we're actually getting a Frim Pong card as well. So, oh, anyway, if you're looking at this card, if you're going to do him, I will have a review up eventually. But. I would recommend something that boosts his passing a little bit. So maybe a backbone instead of uh, whatever you were considering, probably a sentinel. Just to get that passing up so you don't have to worry about it in game because that will be a problem later along the line. So just get used to that now. And otherwise, enjoy the card. This card is going to be destructive. I may try him at like, yeah, left wing. Maybe a little bit different. Maybe a little bit more Zway worthy. Maybe a striker. Because this card should be very, very good overall. Besides his composure. I don't know. Anyway, I'm gonna. I'm looking forward to using that card soon. And otherwise, I think the team is pretty unchanged. Uh, I was thinking about doing Schweinsteiger's uh, Evo. We can actually hop over there now. It doesn't really matter, but... Uh, where is it? Icon upgrade. So I actually have Van Pers Van Nistroy can go into it. 
Uh, that can't. That doesn't fix the card. Okay, but I have Van Persie too, so it's between Van Persie and Schweinsteiger. And the question is, if I'm keeping Oberdorf, which I think I might uh, post uh, trying out from Pong, I wonder if this card would even go over Kessler. And I don't really think so, which is too bad, but I do like using Shawani in this game. And then otherwise it would go to Van Persie, obviously. But we will see. Otherwise, I don't really... I haven't really been looking at these Evos. Yeah, I can do Sane. Um... Uh, team of the Year, Unsung Hero. It's okay. We're just gonna stop uh, looking. Oh, sorry. I just got completely sidetracked. Look at this Ito card. Uh, okay, well it won't show me. Uh, I don't have Ito. Do I? What rating is he base? He's an 85. Okay, there's a chance I have Ito. Uh, let's go Gold Rare. Oh my god, uh, these menus are tragic. Also, this game is completely bugged right now. It's <laughs> it's just sad. Itakura is the only one I have. God, that's a shame. Uh, what does he look like with uh, the upgrade? Not as good. Okay, well, that's easier. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> Otherwise, that Ido card looks amazing. This card, uh, especially with radioactive chemistry and anticipate plus. I might have a little bit of fun with the Evos, but otherwise, thanks for watching. If you can, leave a like, comment, subscribe, and yeah, thanks.